In the battle of left versus right wing politics, there was a clear winner, the left. At Sunday's snap general election, PSOE and Unidas Podemos gained 18 seats more than the Partido Popular, Ciudadanos and Vox combined. The PSOE won 123 seats. Unidas Podemos, a coalition of Izquierda Unida and anti-austerity group Podemos, picked up 42. Together, these two parties account for 164 seats, which is below the 176 needed to control the Spanish parliament. Mr Sanchez will therefore need the support of regional parties if he's to govern, with different permutations possible. The Conservative Popular Party suffered a bruising defeat, losing around 70 seats in Congress, left with just 66. The other right-wing party, Ciudadanos, performed better than expected, winning 57 seats. The far-right party, Vox, took 24 in what was its debut national election. Mr Sanchez hailed the result and the high turnout, saying Spaniards had sent out a message that they don't want to regress or reverse. We want a country that looks forward and advances, he said. Fabian Picardo wrote to the leaders of PSOE and Unidas Podemos. He expressed the hope that their approach to Gibraltar, the campo and the issues that he says have bedeviled the ROC's relationship with Spain will now also be future-looking and seeking cooperation. Mr Picardo says this would be in keeping with Mr Sanchez's original remarks of June 2018, that we have to look to create a positive dialogue beyond the rhetoric of the sovereignty debate. But, he said, it's clear that Gibraltar has been let down by PSOE before, even by this leadership on matters relating to Brexit. Mr Picardo said he'd remain vigilant. In La Linea, Vox placed third, which voted PSOE first on 33%, Ciudadanos second on 21 then Vox on 15 while the PP dropped to 14%. The PP's results were similarly bad in Algeciras, where the mayor, José Ignacio Landaluce, a long-time critic of Gibraltar, lost his seat in the upper house of Spain's parliament, the Senate.